My life on a lifeboat with a tiger in the ocean in a nutshell. On July 2, 1977, the tsunami explode. Later on the lifeboat, the hyena killed orange juice. <coughs> Richard Parker killed that punk hyena. Bang! Bang! Nom! Nom! I had to build a raft to escape Richard Parker's savagery. Kaboom. This is easily the worst decision of my life. What possessed me to make such a horrendous choice? I wish I died in the explosion with my family. I would rather watch Johnny Test than be in this situation. As time passed, my clothes disappeared. I realized that I needed to tame Richard Barker, otherwise I would become a goat. I decided to psychologically harass Richard Parker by rocking the boat and making him seasick. I also played my sick jams to scare him. Girls of increasing discomfort. I successfully tamed Dick Parker. Why must you do this? Damn, it feels good to be good. One day, we were attacked by flying fish. They were everywhere. We are being very disruptive to the people on this boat. A very big fish landed in front of me. <coughs> Richard Parker saw the fish and started growling. And over the fish. I decided at that moment I was going to put this house cat in the trash. Where he belongs. I forgot to iron my dog. Run away. One day, a ship came past the lifeboat. I slammed my frying pan vigorously against the floor in a desperate attempt to get the crew's attention. But alas, the ship sailed past us. I frequently use my dream rug to pass time. I get visions of better times when I put it on my face. We eventually arrived at an island. I was eager to finally get off the boat and go exploring. Thank Lord, some solid ground. There were male cats all over the island. Richard Parker killed a bunch of them. I kill you. No, 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 no. I found myself some proper food to eat. Nom, nom, nom.
Richard Barker and I were feeling fresh. Please end the massacre. However, I discovered a horrible truth about the island. It ate people during the night. <coughs> we left the island shortly after. My free food. We ended up in Mexico. Me? No, I blow espanol. Richard Parker left me. Smell you later, pissing a patel. I was so devastated, how could he leave me like this? I thought we had something special. Then some Mexican villagers found me and brought me back to safety in the village. A happy end to a happy story.